Welcome guys. In this video, we are going to learn C and C part programming, uh, especially uh, facing cycle, turning cycle and drilling cycle. And uh, this is the given diagram. For this diagram, we have to write the part programming. Uh, first of all, we have to know the sequence of operations. So we have to take a workpiece. Yeah, that is a cylindrical workpiece uh, with a length of 72 mm and 32 mm in diameter. First, we have to do the facing operation. Then we have to do the step turning operation. First step turning has to be done uh, to a diameter of 25 mm and a length of 50 mm. Then another step turning operation has to be done and the diameter is 20 mm and the length is 25 mm. Finally, we have to change the tool and we have to perform the drilling operation and the length of the drill is 20 mm with a diameter of 6 mm drill bit. Uh, let's see the part program uh, for this diagram. See, in the first line, uh, we have to mention the size of the workpiece. The workpiece is named as billet, B-I-L-L-E-T. And X is going to refer the diameter of the billet and Z is going to mention the length of the billet. And uh, we have to give some instructions to the system. Yeah, that is uh, G21. It means uh, we are going to use metric data as an input. And then G98 means we are going to give a feed in minute. That is feed per minute. And we have to tell the home position of the tool. And that is mentioned as G28 U0 W0. And uh, we have to tell the uh, tool instructions that is M06. It means we have to change the tool. And they are mentioning one number that is T01. So we have to fix the T01 as a first tool. And the next one is M03 and S1500. Yes, uh, it means the spindle has to rotate in clockwise direction that is mentioned as M03. And 1500 means revolution per minute. And yeah, now let's see how to execute the program in the CNC software. Open the software and then click F9 by which we can able to uh, save the program, uh, give a name to the program. In the left side of the window, you have to type the instructions. First of all, put a open bracket and then type billet b i l l e t and mention the value of x that is 32 and mention the value of z that is 72 in the next line uh, you have to type the remaining program yeah uh, that is uh, g21 g98 and then g28 u0 w0 and then tool change that is m06 t01 uh, here you can able to verify the tool number by clicking F9 you can able to see the set tooling here you can able to change the respective tool if suppose if you want to verify the tool see here the tool number is T01 if you want to see uh, what is the tool is already uh, set in T01 means just click the F9 button and go to set tooling option here you can able to see see here we are having a roughing tool yeah that is enough to perform the uh, turning as well as facing operation then just run the program yeah just click the f9 and run the program you can also change the uh, three dimensional view into two dimensional view uh, so that you can able to see the tool movement in a clear manner. So uh, click F10 and go to the setting here. See here it is showing that so 3D. Just change it into no. Now you can able to see the 2D window. See here this is our 2D window. 
yeah uh, let's call the tool from its home position so we have to use g00 uh, what it means g00 means rapid linear movement of the tool up to what position that is x33 and z0 right uh, let's see what it means uh, this is the position for x33 and z0 uh, let's take one example uh, if suppose i am going to give x33 z10 where will be the tool yeah see here this is the position for x33 and z10 if suppose i am going to give uh, x0 and z0 means the tool will be over here yeah this is nothing but the axis x0 means the tool has to be moved towards the axis of the workpiece already you know uh, above the axis line the x value will be positive below the axis line the x value will be a negative one uh, if suppose i am going to give x minus 33 and z0 means yeah this is the position of our tool similarly if suppose i am going to give a negative z means see up to this region z will be positive at this place at the front end of the workpiece z will be a zero behind the workpiece that is in these places the z value will be in a negative manner okay uh, this is the value see here x33 and z minus 50 okay this is the position of the tool uh, i hope uh, you may have a clear idea about it uh, let's go to our actual program okay yeah uh, let's start our machining uh, first we have to do the facing process so this will be our position of the tool and then now you have to move the tool towards the uh, depth of cut yeah uh, that is we are going to give uh, one mm as a depth of cut in the facing operation so you have to move in a slow manner because already the tool is nearer to the workpiece if suppose you are going to give the depth of cut means it will be have an impact between the tool and the workpiece so g01 has to be used right use g01 and then x33 is that minus one see is that minus one is nothing but our depth of cut and i am going to use a facing cycle so that it will be a easier one uh, what is the code for facing cycle g94 right see this will be the code g94 x0 z minus 1 f 50 see uh, what it means x0 z minus 1 is the next position of our tool yeah this one and f 50 means it is nothing but feed so our tool will move towards to this position so while it is going to move it is going to remove some amount of material from the workpiece right uh, it is a cylindrical workpiece so no need to move throughout the length of the workpiece uh, up to the axis it is enough to do the facing operation that's all after doing the facing operation what will be the current length of our workpiece 71 but we have to uh, machine up to 70 mm so once again you have to give some depth of cut yeah that is z has to be moved in the minus direction that is z minus 2 let's uh, run those things in the software see uh, here you can able to see the uh, slow linear movement yeah that is g01 right and see how the facing cycle that is g94 x0 z minus 1 and f50 is working and now i am going to add z minus 2 and run it uh, now uh, let's move towards our uh, turning cycle uh, first of all you have to uh, observe the figure and you have to identify the record position of the cutting tool so that we can able to obtain the record shape see 
we need to produce 25 mm diameter for a length of 50 mm what is the actual diameter now 32 from 32 we have to move towards 25 uh, so 2 to 3 passes will be required uh, please don't give heavy depth of cuts okay if suppose you are going to give a heavy depth of cut mean uh, there will be a chance of a failure of tool uh, see and the code for uh, turning cycle is g and int x 32 and z minus 50 f 50 uh, here the g 90 means turning cycle uh, see here here i am going to move my tool in z minus 50 distance in the first pass the value of x is 32 in the second pass the value of x is 29 and third it is 27 and then the last pass the x is 25 see uh, now we are going to run it in the simulation definitely you will clearly uh, understand those things see yeah that's it yeah uh, after completing the step turning one now we have to do the uh, step turning process two uh, just uh, uh, observe the diagram and then you have to tell the record position of the tool okay see uh, we need to produce a 20 mm diameter for a length of 25 mm so almost two to three passes is required and the code will be a same one okay because here also we are going to do the uh, turning cycle only but the x and z value is changed here see the code is g90 x24 z minus 25 and the feed is f50 after completing the first pass now we have to move towards the tool in which direction x that's it fantastic yeah x22 and then finally x20 yeah uh, let's run it and uh, this is the actual simulation super uh, at the end uh, we have completed the step turning one and then step turning two process mm, what is the next sequence bro? yeah what is the next sequence fantastic yeah uh, we need to do the uh, drilling so we have to change the cutting tool so you have to return the turning tool to its home position first then we can able to change the cutting tool right now we have to change the drill bit and the number of the drill bit is t04 so uh, you have to give an instruction to the system that is m06 t04 and then you have to start the spindle rotation that is m03 and yes thousand and then you have to position the tool in a correct place we are going to put a drill so the tool has to be aligned in the axis of the work piece right so now the tool is in home position so you can use g00 and that is nothing but a rapid linear movement and x0 and z1 now after we have a position at the drill bit now we have to do the drilling uh, either with the help of some simple uh, linear movement of the codes or otherwise with the help of some uh, drilling cycle okay uh, let's go with a drilling cycle and the code is uh, g74 here g74 refers the uh, drilling cycle and r1 okay actually uh, r means uh, returning linear movement distance okay uh, i will explain those things while we are going to simulate and in the next line uh, g74 x0 z minus 20 and q1000 f30 mm, actually x0 means yeah that is nothing but at the axis and z minus 20 means up to 20 millimeter we need to put a hole and q q is nothing but forward linear movement which is in micron 
okay it, it is in the unit of micron yeah uh, let's try the simulation uh, while i am doing the simulation i will explain the meaning of r as well as q see uh, this is the actual simulation for our drilling cycle and now i am going to change the value of r as well as q so that you can able to understand it in a, a proper manner uh, as we discussed earlier r means a returning moment see uh, i have changed the value of r as uh, 20 now the tool moves 20 millimeter back see the tool is moving 20 millimeter back at every forward stroke right okay now i am going to change my q value as we know what is my q q means forward linear movement okay and i have changed the value of q to 3000 uh, 3000 means it is in micron right see now the tool is moves in 3 mm front at every forward stroke and at every return stroke the tool moves at a value of r that's it okay uh, after completing the work the tool has to back to its home position so uh, you have to give uh, g28 u0 w0 and then we have to and then m05 m09 m30 that is nothing but spindle stop coolant off and then end program that's all thank you thanks for learning here you can